more games leaked and another presentation confirmed that and so much more in one epic video. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing all right before we get started with some pretty dope news you gotta give this video a thumbs up let's get it over 300 likes right now all right right to the news bro some fans were a little disappointed with Skyward Sword, the announcement that was made at the last Nintendo Direct, I wasn't. Skyward Sword has the best story in all of the Zelda games coming to the Switch. But according to a new report, a trusted source, Andy Robinson of VGC Video Game Chronicles, he just tweeted out, for those disappointed with the Skyward Sword remaster, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are 100% coming this year. So according to this journalist, based on the information he's received, Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD both coming to the Switch this year. And this makes perfect sense. 35th year anniversary. These games have already been hinted at, um, leaked by other sources, but uh, the fact that this journal this all is also saying, and he's confident that it's 100% coming this year, gives more credibility to all of the leaks and rumors. And this is a no-brainer, bro. Come on. These games are going to require little to no work to port to the Switch, and all of the major Wii U games have come to the Switch. So it's a given, easy, 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 no-brainer move by Nintendo. Three solid games. So, all in one year, Wind Waker. Wind Waker was my favorite 3D Zelda game before Breath of the Wild. This game is so good, man. The combat, just when you hit the enemies of the two, 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 two. It's, it's, it's just a dope game. Um, Wind Waker, Skyward, uh, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword all in one year. It's going to be an epic, epic year for Zelda. Now, all I want... No, you know what? Because th this is good enough. Because Skyward, Skyward Sword is so lit, man. Zelda games are fantastic. My favorite gaming series of all time. But... In order to be icing on the cake, a Four Swords type game, or even Link to the Past made in the art style of Link's Awakening would be epic. And so, two more Zelda games pretty much confirmed coming in 2021. I'm thinking they're going to package the game similar to what Nintendo did with Mario and the 35th anniversary where they had Mario 64 um 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 sunshine and um galaxy all in one package h uh, wind waker hd twilight princess and probably ocarina of time 64 all in one package that would be a sweet deal come on bro. you can't complain all right speaking of games and events another gaming event has been confirmed capcom has just confirmed that they're going to be holding a special Monster Hunter digital event on March 8th. So mark your calendar, March 8th. The event will have both Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter 2 Wings of Ruin both coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Both games coming to the Switch. And so the, the event will start at 
9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're on the East Coast. And we'll include new Monster Hunter Rise gameplay, a hunting tutorial, and the developer director will be asking questions, um, answering some questions about the game. So it looks like, looks like they're going all in. This is going to be a huge release for the switch as if the switch wasn't already dominating the sales of this game is going to be astronomical i'm calling it right now they just showed the system yesterday i was able to pre-order both the monster hunter rise pro controller and the Legend of Zelda Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons, the Joy-Cons that were announced alongside um, Skyward Sword. Both items, fire. Both items were sold out in a manner of minutes. As soon as they went live, shout out to my sponsors, bro. Especially Kaleem. Um, once they went live, he posted it in the Discord. We'd be looking out for each other. And we went crazy trying to get them. And I, got, I was able to get both the Monster Hunter Pro Controller and the Legend of Zelda um, Joy-Cons. Those Joy-Cons are the best looking Joy-Cons ever, bro. It's going to look lit on this red Mario uh, Switch, man. And so I have currently all of the official Nintendo um, first party Pro Controllers that have been released. I have them all. The um, um, Xenoblade one, the all black one, the Smash one. I even have a custom GameCube skinned one. And of course, the Splatoon one. So we lit, we lit with the Pro Controllers. Speaking of Splatoon, Splatoon 3 was announced at the next Nintendo Direct. And something interesting, Nintendo is hiring for a Splatoon 3 level designer. So this is interesting. They're still designing. And this makes sense. Because the game could be near completion right now. But what what credit i give nintendo especially with splatoon they give the splatoon games great support after the game launches new maps are constantly added uh, new game modes are added <laughs> we could you could use a chub i want to see how that's going to interact with you you got a little chub with you but they're hiring for a level designer and i'm almost certain after the game launches we're still going to be having new maps um, being developed and released um, post-launch like they've done with all the um, Splatoon games. Very pleased, please, please, please with what they showed with Splatoon. I want to see more gameplay. Um, hey, you already know how I roll with Splatoon. As much as I play Splatoon to death, I'm still, still looking forward to this game. Can't wait. Um, day one buy is a no-brainer, bro. And... The last news item for this video, the first software sale numbers for Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury have been shown, have been released for Japan and it is the king of the hill in the land of the rising sun. Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury debuts at 250,000 sold on the nintendo switch which are crazy crazy numbers and so it's the best selling game in japan for the week a no-brainer can't wait to see how the game is going to be selling in the states the game is, is a phenomenal dope 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 game gonna be um um beating the game with the sponsors on my gaming channel obi-wan plays gaming championship but those are all the news items for today what do you guys think about everything we talk about sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out boy you still watching this video that means you like me you really like me 
I gotta hook you up. That's right, I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice, Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter, at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway, but wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.